been dead and this is gardening Pops fall from the fussy medicated here I lay I'm comatose my thoughts are slow when my body feels frozen Think this what you want your head we spin a f- 
afraid to slow down Don't tell me you've got somewhere to go Cause I got someone in my cup But it don't feel me like you do I thought that losing track of time Would mean the faster it moves But all the clocks been the same And the bigger issue remains I swear the world stands still
boxes to the left, a shadow box with this here figure in the mirror. Foggy, if we made a mistake, shit, I might have made that clearer. I hope that I get to love you again. But I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. We make decisions and live with the smoke. And the higher I get, I get more vulnerable. Yeah, on occasion I act on impulse. And I give an advice, so I don't impulse. Shit, I put up a fight, but I live with results. I don't wanna make it worse if I don't have to So I'll ask you to get the bad news first When you come and take what is yours I can't tell you that it's wrong All I ask before you come Is leaving a little bit to come back for Leaving a little bit to come back for I'll Come and take what is yours I can't tell you that it's wrong All I ask before you come Take you with me, all of the places you miss. How can you face away? Your face has changed quite a bit. Some things I don't need to know. I'm at my best when I'm left alone. How can you blame me for coming right back? I get attached, I get, I get, I get a little bit of love and damage. It's just when we ain't coming back from it all. So I don't really know how much more of you taking. I can take back if I'm still going Come and take what is yours. I can't tell you that it's wrong. All I ask before you go is leaving a little bit to come back for. Leaving a little bit to come back for. Oh, come and take what is yours. I can't tell you that it's wrong. Hope y'all are enjoying yourselves at home. Again, my name is Ben Spindad, and this is Gardening. Self 
selfless for herself. She could be trying to help. It's so wrong for me. Place. 
that you feel alright But baby, at the end of it all You're quick and cut like a knife So when you're looking back and you're down for Hope that you enjoy your time I really do, I really do for listening tonight. My name is Ben Spendead. This is Gardening, and this is my last song. And then uh, after we're done, I would like to have a little Q&A if you guys want to type some questions into the chat. We can talk about the songs, talk about what you liked, disliked, whatever. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is my last song. It's called I Hope They Don't Let You Down. Beam of a 
balancing What the fuck was I running from? Learn me these calluses I grow around the shit Keep on challenging what's already been challenging I had a grip on things and It's been stripped away Watch my skin erase I've seen better days Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if anybody's got questions about the record, any songs or anything in particular, I'd love to answer them. So I guess throw those in the chat. If uh, if anybody wants to talk about it, if not, we can keep going. Uh, yeah, so Gardening comes out tomorrow. Um, you know, I've been working on this for a while, so I'm just super excited to get these songs out. Um, we also got merch you want to check out the merch uh that should be in the headliner shop and um yeah i don't know i'm i'm super excited to roll this one out and uh yeah all right let's talk about the record um yeah fuck um i started working on this probably like beginning of quarantine really um Started working on, I think Radio Silence was the first track that I kind of dove into, um, which I didn't introduce, but uh, I, you can check the track listing for all the uh, the track names. Um, if it's being recorded, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is being recorded, so you'll be able to check it out later on. Um, what is my favorite song on the album? Um... I honestly think radio silence. I uh, I did a lot of new stuff recording wise that I haven't done with songs before. I did a lot of like live instrument tracking. Uh, it was I think the first time I've tracked live drums on um, a project, so that was definitely one of the the cooler.
cooler things I've gotten to do. Um, and yeah, I uh, had my friend John Roods play a lot of stuff on that. He fucking absolutely killed that song. Um, John Roods on live drums is uh, a feat. And yeah, he absolutely killed it. So shout out John Roods. Shout out Anna Lombard for doing the uh, beautiful harmonies on that. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff I'm excited for you guys to just be able to sit down with it and, uh, you know, listen at your own pace and whatnot. Why you gotta be John Roots? <laughs> That's a tour joke. Uh, so we, uh, how did we do the prayer video? Um, so we went down, it was me, Joshua, who's running the stream, shout out Josh and Bird Theory. Um, we went down with Ant Wheeler and Jack Rohner, uh, two other video guys, and we went down to Monument Valley in Arizona. And um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to, I've always been like super into the idea of like cinematic music videos. I really like, you know, things that are just beautiful visuals. Um, so I was like, you know, let's just go somewhere absolutely gorgeous and just shoot. And um, yeah, Ant, who uh, directed the video, was kind of like, I want to do a whole one shot, um, just one take, do the whole thing. And I was a little bit nervous because we had it, uh, y you know, it was all in slow motion. So we had to do like a sped up version of the song. I had to perform totally sped up so that's like a little bit difficult but yeah um yeah thank you to the navajo nation for being so cool about that and uh bless up and uh yeah that was one of the most uh like profound experiences i've had was just going down there and doing that so oh what's next um i have an album after this I don't want to talk a lot about it because I want that to kind of be, um, I'll, I'll roll that out when I roll it out, but, um, yeah, I'm always working on stuff, so, um, I want you guys to just enjoy this project and then, and then I'll show you some of the other stuff I've been working on. Biggest inspiration was uh, definitely from the beginning of kind of this whole COVID thing that we've all been going through was um, just taking a time, like taking moments to slow down and um, just take care of yourself. I think kind of the inspiration behind gardening is to tend your own garden, um, which is just kind of like, you know, take care of yourself before you are trying to take care of other people. I mean, you can't, you can't do anything like that if you're not well yourself. So it really came from just like having a lot of time to realize what I needed and uh, what I needed to, to have to be able to help other people. Um, so yeah, self-care is big. So definitely take care of yourselves. quarantine have any positive or negative effects on the recording process um if anything uh, i thought it was kind of positive because i do a lot of my stuff solo um i like to send things off to have people kind of like hear it through their own world and you know add things that they want to add but like a lot of the inception of songs is just me by myself so um yeah having a lot more time to not have to be doing other things kind of got me like really in my head as far as what I wanted to create and um yeah it helped I think sucks to say that quarantine did anything good but uh, yeah it helped me record this project so not too mad which artist would I like to collab with next um I don't know. I have like people that are kind of like way out there, like Bon Iver, Justin Vernon, um, and like Childish Gambino. But um, as far as next, um, I would love to work with this guy Saya. Um, yeah, he's an amazing artist, 
out of uh, Arizona, I believe. So, yeah, you should definitely check out his stuff. Who did the album art? My wonderful girlfriend, Belle Fall. Uh, yeah, you should follow her on Instagram, bean, at beanfall. Um, yeah, amazing photographer. Um, yeah, I kind of had the idea that I was, like, through the whole quarantine, I was growing out my beard like crazy. And I had it down to, like you know, pretty, pretty deep at one point, and I was like, what if I just shove a bunch of fucking flowers in here, and, uh, see what that looks like, and it came out cool, so, shout out Off Center, um, shout out Headliner for allowing me to do this, shout out Bird Theory for putting this stream on, um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for listening, um, yeah, it means the world, and go check out my EP at midnight if you are so inclined. Thank you.